So then topical we'll back with another video. I'm Strange Wayne. He is Chris and Nate down there as always. Before we get into this, Nate's gonna tell you about social media and Chris is gonna tell you about his YouTube channel that he's a part of. But we got a retro trailer reaction for Doctor Strange and all the new one. Take it away, Nate. So if you scroll down to the description box below, pop it open, you'll find links to our social media accounts. So click on those, give us a follow. We also have links to our coffee account and our Patreon account, so if you'd like to help support our channel financially, you can click on those. But if you don't want to do that, subscribe, because it's free and it costs you nothing. Like Nate mentioned, make sure you support these guys. They're doing a great job over here. I'm Chris from Beer, Bacon, and Bros. Uh, we cover beer reviews, sports reviews, pretty much anything that you think guys talk about. We got it going on on our show. On to the trailer. On a second. This is the original Doctor Strange. Yeah. Bingo. Okay. Bing bong. Doctor Strange. You think you know how the world works? What if I told you the reality you know Looking like Kanye. is many? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Not everything does. Not everything has to. That's the Transformers so movie slogan. <laughs> we harness energy and shape reality. We travel great distances in an instant. How do I get from here to there? How did you become a doctor? Study and practice. Here's the business. There's a strength to it. But is he ready? Be careful which path you travel down, Strange. Stronger men than you have lost their way. I am death. And pain. You'll die protecting this world. I can't do this. There is no other way. I spent so many years here in spring time. Looking for you. The Wi Fi password. We're not savages. It's one of my favorite parts of that movie. The Wi Fi password. I mean, no, it's probably the best. It's debatable! As a trailer, it did a good job showing the world. But as a movie, I don't really care about this movie. Like Mad, what was it? Mad Mads Mickelson? Yeah. I've had relationships last longer than he was in this movie. He was a jabroni. So, as a movie, I think it's very underwhelming. Am I lying? But that's a great trailer. Yeah. Marvel always makes a point with their trailers to misdirect, like, a lot of misdirection, right? They don't want you to have any fucking clue what movie you're about to go see. They just want to give you enough to go see it. So obviously now having seen the movie, we know that this trailer shows almost nothing about what really is where this movie ends up and things like that, which to me makes it an excellent trailer. It doesn't need, it's just trailers are marketing. The job of a trailer is to get your ass in a theater to watch the movie. And like it worked. I enjoy Doctor Strange. I like the movie, uh, but that trailer is fire. It's an excellent trailer. Yeah. I mean, this was kind of like the peak of when Marvel started to really put out some fire trailers and get you motivated to come see these movies. And yeah. um, I was going to hit on exactly what Nate said. I mean, you you watch this, tra having seen this movie and now watching this trailer, and there's like, there's voiceovers in scenes that they're, they're not pairing up together, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I mean, it's a good trailer. It's not like, you know, the greatest trailer that Marvel's ever released. Yeah, facts. My opinion initially was with Strange when I watched Doctor like Strange Wang, but Doctor Strange 
uh, wasn't like my favorite movie uh, going through it, and like when I when I've gone back and now like rewatched all the Marvel movies, I have a, a little bit greater appreciation for Doctor Strange. I thought it was definitely a little bit better movie than I initially thought it was. Um, but I mean, all in all, you know, it's definitely one of those trailers that got me pumped. It was exciting to watch it again because I was like, okay, this is what this was. Cause I don't even remember what it was. So based on this, and do you see like? the movies he's been in since, do you think it's time for the sequel that he's getting? Because I watched this, and I was like, man, I would have personally rather had another Doctor Strange like solo outing to like the character more. Because honestly, I'm glad they're putting in these random cameos, and he's been in movies with Spider-Man and the Avengers and whatnot, and you bring in Scarlet Witch over. I don't know if he could do a movie by himself. Like me, actually give a fuck. I've oh. been spoiled by him hanging out with all these other superheroes. I don't think that's fair for you to say. Why not? Because you're tired of superhero movies, anyways. <laughs> so of course you don't care about seeing him in a solo movie because you don't care about seeing any of these movies but except Spider-Man. If I got nostalgia, if I gotta watch superhero movies, I'm going with the MCU though. If I'm being honest. Like any big blast, like blockbuster. You can take Donkey, what's his name? King Kong, you can throw him in the trash. You can throw Godzilla. Everyone but Batman, you can throw them in the trash. Uh, robots and shit like that. Star Wars 2. This, I would be cool with just having this. Like MCU. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't know. I needed more from the character. Because like, everyone said it when the movie came out. He was just like 20 minutes in. Like after he went to the place. Doctor Strange. Like, yeah, he, let me spend some time with him. He got there quick. That's what she said. But, I mean, I think that's why he gets his own movie, is so you can spend time with him. But, like, don't you think you should spend more time with him? Like, what a... a They're giving you a movie so yeah, you can spend I, time with but him. But I'll say this. I, like, I think... I, you know that Scarlet Witch is in this movie, but I don't think Scarlet Witch is going to play that big a factor. I, um, yeah, I think she's going to be more better. Can you put, like, a spoilers ahead thing right here? For what? All right. Because when you watch No Way Home... He's really not that. that he's really not that big a factor in No Way Home, right? I mean, he's just. I think Scarlet Witch is going to play the same thing in Multiverse of Madness okay. that Doctor Strange was. I think she's going to be there. There's going to be some conversation around it. I don't think she's going to be in it, but I think you're going to get another real solo movie, and you're going to see some deep, dark, messed up stuff in Multiverse of Madness because it's going to be more. I don't. I think it's going to be less about Doctor Strange and more about Stephen Strange and and his personal conflicts and and things yeah. like that. Well, that's what I was going to say. Like. Doctor slash Stephen Strange. I mean, he's backstory wise in terms of like personality and things like that. He's one of the more interesting characters because he is incredibly arrogant. Yeah. Like he does have a life that he left behind to do this stuff that we didn't get to spend a lot of time with. Um, and his arrogance obviously plays a huge part in like how things happened in Spider Man. So. Yeah, I want to, like, that's what I want. I want more of the character. So, like, I agree with you. I do want more time with him. And I hope that that's what Multiverse of Madness is. Because, obviously, there's going to be a shit ton of the new characters probably introduced in the movie because Multiverse and all this stuff. But I hope that we get some time, like, with him and Rachel McAdams again. And, like, him working through, like, his personal hubris and arrogance and everything. So And, and the love story that he left behind and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, you, like... There's not a wrong answer for the question, but like obviously a question to get the conversation going and whatnot and like blended the sequel and the first one together. Mm-hmm. But like you like what I was like asking for, you hit it more. Like all these people coming in, Charles Xavier, Scarlet Witch, how much they gonna be in the movie? Mm-hmm. And I think I don't, I don't think they're gonna. I, I think it's gonna be while it's it, it's. Like 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. I think we have the panic of what Civil War was. Like, it wasn't really a Captain America movie. It was an Aven- it was a mini Avengers movie. Yeah. I, I don't think Multiverse of Madness is going to be that movie. I think Love and Thunder will be that style of movie. I do think Multiverse mm-hmm. of Madness is going to be a little bit more about Stephen Strange. Because they're really... I think Marvel's kind of playing with who's going to be the next Tony Stark, Iron Man, uh, you know, Captain America... Who's going to be the Who's going to be the favorite character that people want to see on the screen? And I think they're going to play, take a little play at Doctor Strange and see if he can be that guy. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Like there will definitely be like cameos throughout Multiverse of Madness. I wouldn't be surprised if most of like the big character reveals happened in like the last twenty minutes of the movie. 
Yeah. Because yeah. because like we were talking about, they misdirect the hell out of people on purpose with oh, yeah. the trailers. So. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys are right. And it's a Steam is strange movie. Tell us down low what you think. Let's go back up hit the like button, share the video. And subscribe.